Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. Today, let's have a look at what I think will be the top five themes for WordPress going into 2021. We're going to be looking at the free and the pro version of these themes. Now, don't take the order of this list too seriously. All five of these themes are excellent. I'd be happy to use any one of these five on a project, but the point of this video is to highlight the strengths and the weaknesses of these different themes. They all have unique strengths and weaknesses, so you can make a good decision going forward into the new year about what you'd like to use on your next projects. All right, coming in at number five, we've got Rife Free. Now, I picked this one because it's an extremely generous free version. I think this is one of the best free WordPress themes going around. So this is the free version of the Rife theme. You can get that over on wordpress.org. We can see it's got 30,000 active installs. I think it almost deserves to have uh, 300,000 rather than 30,000. It's that good, I think, Rife Free. You can go ahead and um, get it normally just through appearance and themes and I'm searching for Rife Free. I've already installed one here. And you'll see that when you install this, you actually get some really nice demo content to work with. So the pro version gives you 41 designs. The free version only gives you seven, but these are actually really quite high quality designs, much better than most free designs. So this is the uh, the Raven one. I've gone ahead and installed that. Now, the first thing I noticed, the free version is actually giving us a transparent header and that header is a sticky header as well. So that's very rare to get in a free version. I know Cadence gives us this, but I don't really see it too often in a free theme. So that is very, very cool. The, and the actual content, the demo content uh, is extremely professional and these blog posts actually look really nice as well. You don't always get nice uh, blog display grids in a free theme. So this is really quite top notch. Now, besides the Raven one, I'll look at some of the other ones quickly. So you've got this one called Frame, which is a photography style one. So really nice. If you're a photographer or Instagrammer, you can sort of uh, display your work in that way. And the blog is all, all really cool as well. This blog display is as good as any other WordPress theme I've seen. So really nice. I don't think you usually get such a good uh, blog display in a free theme. Let's have a look at another one. So we've got the crops design here. Again, this is a really cool uh, photography style. This is a black and white sort of uh, styled demo. So again, really nice, good quality uh, demo content. This is all done in Elementor, by the way. All these all these uh, import sites are for Elementor. So I was looking for this when I was thinking, oh, what's a good alternative to Astra for free? I think this was the best alternative I came up with for free for Astra. If you wanted an Elementor demo site where you could import and easily create things as a beginner. So this is a really good option um, in comparison to Astra. So again, you've got this other one, Unicorn. That, that is a really nice sort of business agency thing. I could see myself uh, replacing my own blog with something looking like this and it would work really well. So very versatile, multiple use uh, demos. Again, Star another good sort of business agency type thing. And they've even got uh, Woo Ah, so a war, that would be a really nice uh, multi-purpose shop. So they've set it up with products in um, cart and checkout already as well. So even for uh, e-commerce, you could use Rife Free. So a free version, this is very versatile and very well-rounded product. So uh, hats off to Rife. I'm going to be giving them the number five spot on my list of top themes for going into 2021. All right, coming in at number four, we've got Hello Elemental. Now, the Hello theme is a very plain, vanilla, lightweight theme for the Elemental page builder. Now, if you love using Elemental Pro, this is the perfect theme to be using with Elemental because you can do everything in Elemental and just use a nice, clean, plain theme as your back end. So, Obviously, this is a really, really popular way of doing things. It's got 400,000 active installs, so you probably have already heard of it. And uh, once you've got this, uh, you're pretty much good to go with Elementor. Do everything in Elementor. Do your uh, header, footer, theme design using the Elementor theme builder. Do all your WooCommerce stuff using the WooCommerce builder. So with your theme builder, you can do your blog posts, your header and footer design, all your WooCommerce stuff, all the additional WordPress pages you can just do using Elementor. So it gives you that Elementor friendly uh, drag and drop point and click interface that makes WordPress a lot easier than the default uh, method. So again, all these WooCommerce options you can do in Elementor. It just makes life a lot easier for those of us who are not back-end developers. You just want to concentrate on the design aspect. I think this is the perfect way of going about things. 
For example, you can just go into Elementor and just visually work on your footer and your header in Elementor. So if you're using Elementor Pro, this would be the way of doing things with the Hello theme and doing everything visually in Elementor. It's a great combination for WordPress. And this is what the workflow looks like, building the WooCommerce Builder in Elementor. So you can do your product in your shop cart and check out visually in Elementor. This makes it a lot easier. I think a lot of people really appreciate being able to do this in Elementor. All right, coming in at number three. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of this one, Astra. I won't spend too much time talking about Astra. Already a million users have installed and are using Astra. So uh, the most popular ever WordPress theme, a million active installs. And pretty much all five-star reviews as well here. The biggest feature I think with Astra is uh, the extremely high number of quality starter templates you get. There's nearly 50, I think, at the moment, uh, and there's almost a template to match any uh, possible project. Even in the free version, there's so many. So uh, I really love this mountain one. I think that's a really elegant multiple use one. And there's even a few free uh, e-commerce stores that, which re load really fast and are really quite easy to use. And one huge advantage with Astra is it's compatible with quite a few different page builders. So when you go over to our um, Astra starter sites, you can see we've got Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg, and Brizzy. So you've got your choice of page builder. You don't really get that with other themes. And I think for me, I usually use Elementor. I have been using Gutenberg a little bit more lately, but I think when a beginner starts out using WordPress, you go and tell them to download Astra, install one of these sites, install Elementor. They can uh, get started and build some really nice stuff and get success on their first day of using WordPress. I think that's something that Astra really does very, very well at the moment. Um, the chance of getting a beginner to be successful at WordPress using an Astra starter template is probably still the way I'd recommend to get started. And then after you've got some experience, you could try other themes, but there's very low risk using the free version of Astra, free version of Elementor. You'll find out quite quickly whether you enjoy WordPress or not. And this is a great way to get started. I've done plenty of tutorials. I'll link some in the description on how to get started on building WordPress using Astra. But I just got to say fast, simple, flexible, and uh, the free version is incredible. So I think this is definitely an easy number three on my list. I could have considered pushing it a little bit higher, but these uh, next two I'm going to mention are outstanding as well. So it's very difficult to rank these guys. All right, coming in at number two, we're getting close to the end of our list here, Cadence. This is probably the hottest new theme in 2020. Uh, Cadence has a really excellent free theme and excellent pro theme as well. You can get uh, Cadence straight through your WordPress dashboard now as well. This was fairly recent that it came onto the WordPress dashboard, but um, excellent, excellent theme. Already 20,000 installs. That's only been over the last month or so that it's been able to achieve that. We're only on version 1.05. So very new, very promising theme. The things I love about Cadence is the performance out of the box is just incredible. This is the fastest theme I've ever used on WordPress. So I really love its performance. I love how it works with Gutenberg. I've honestly never enjoyed using Gutenberg until I got Cadence. Cadence Box plugin actually makes Gutenberg quite uh, user friendly compared to where it was probably even last year. The header builder and even the WooCommerce features that it has already are quite nice, makes it quite usable. I don't think it's quite as friendly as some of the other themes that are out so far, but I think the rate that this is developing, it's going to probably be uh, competing for the number one spot quite soon. Now, you've got uh, all these templates that are already made. So far, they've got six Gutenberg templates. They cover businesses, blogs, shops, and even Learn Dash courses. I really love this agency page, and they've got an online course page that works with LearnDash, which is probably my favorite LMS system on WordPress. And they've got a pretty good looking uh, uh, online e-commerce store here as well. They also recently launched four Elementor templates as well, covering businesses, shops, and LearnDash courses as well. So good stuff from Cadence. And as I was saying earlier, it's the first time I've felt like using the default WordPress editor Gutenberg and actually enjoyed it in any sense. So it actually makes these rows uh, very similar to using Elementor in some ways. It's not quite as good as Elementor, but uh, I don't really mind it. And I think the trade-off you get with the increased performance of avoiding having to use a page builder, I think this is quite worth learning how to do this. 
So I think for those of you who are tired of page builders, you want to try something that might be a little bit faster, then uh, check out Cadence. The free theme is very generous, so uh, there's no harm in checking it out. I've done lots of tutorials already on the channel. You've probably watched one. Um, if not, check those out. I'll put those in the description. All right, now finally at number one, this was a difficult choice, but I have decided to give the number one spot to Divi. Divi is an, just an awesome overall package. It's been out for a long time. It first came out in 2013 and it has continued to improve year on year and now it is just a complete WordPress package. So Divi's always been a pretty nice page builder, but it wasn't until late uh, 2019 when Divi 4 came out and Divi 4 gave us the Divi theme builder. So that really brought it up to Elementor or standard where you could edit all your templates using the page builder. And that is uh, really powerful and very friendly in terms of allowing new users and designers to work in WordPress. So all of your templates, say for your blog and your pages, they can be done in Divi and it gives you the power of being a WordPress developer without actually knowing how to code like a WordPress developer. And it was around the same time that the theme builder came out, the Woo Builder for Divi also came out. So you can go into your products, your shop page, your cart and your checkout, and you can edit those pages using the Divi Builder completely visually. So an excellent tool for designers who don't have a technical skill in terms of web development coding. The other thing I love about Divi is that the pro version has a really generous uh, licensing because you get a lifetime access. You can usually find a 20% discount, so you can usually get it under uh, $200 reasonably easily. So uh, it's not particularly expensive considering that it's lifetime access and you get them uh, for unlimited website usage. So if you're a um, freelancer or a small agency, this unlimited website usage is awesome. I have uh, a good friend who just uses Divi by itself, runs a small agency. This is the only cost that you need to run a startup, basically this lifetime access and you're, and you're good to go. So um, I'll link to the best discount I can find at the time in the description. So check out the description. Uh, if you need a discount, I can usually find a pretty decent one for you guys. The other thing I love is the pro version just gives you so many layout packs. You've got 190 packs. Now these are multi-page uh, design packs. So this includes like everything you need. This has seven pages. You can build a whole website just using the pack. And there's so many packs that you'll be able to do whatever you need really. Um, this is the beauty products page. They're really professional straight out of the box. So you can uh, really impress people in just a few minutes just by customizing uh, a perspective uh, design for your uh, client. When you're doing a quote, you can really um, impress people with Divi and um, you can actually win quite a lot of work without too much effort uh, when you're using these, these layout packs, um, given that how nice they are and how many there are. So uh, really a cool way of approaching things as a freelancer. I guess the main disadvantage with Divi is that there's no free version, there's only the pro version, but you can head over through the link in the description, head over to that Divi drop down there and load up the live builder demo. That'll load up the Divi builder in the browser and you can actually try Divi using this. And I've done a tutorial on the channel before. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. So you can follow the tutorial, you can play around with the Divi builder, but I'd say this is the, uh, the cleanest version of WordPress editing that you can get in terms of visual editing as a designer. So when you purchase Divi, you don't just get the Divi theme, you get all the elegant themes add-ons as well. So you get extra Bloom and Monarch. So Bloom is the email opt-in and lead generation plugin. Uh, Monarch is your social media sharing plugin. And extra is an additional theme that does magazine style themes for WordPress. And this all comes bundled in with your membership. So if you don't mind paying a bit of money up front, you do get the most well-rounded, powerful package for WordPress on the market, in my opinion. So uh, definitely check this one out. Just have a go, watch my previous tutorial, have a look at the online builder and see if this is the solution for you. One last thing that's worth mentioning is the performance of Divi improved a lot in mid-2019. There was a big performance update at that time. I just went and ran some tests just today and uh, I built identical sites using uh, Divi and using Cadence, uh, Gutenberg blocks for Cadence and uh, identical results basically. You can get fast results in Divi just the same as you can get fast results in Gutenberg. There is a slight, slight difference. I think the actual page in Divi splashed on 0.7 seconds and uh, 0.6, so a fraction faster uh, blocking time on 
uh, Gutenberg. So you can see there was a little bit of a, a lag between when that popped up and when the other one popped up. But the actual largest contentful paint, which is the most important metric, is it's exactly the same when I use the same content in Divi versus the same content in uh, Gutenberg. So there's not a major performance difference these days, depending on which page builder you use. The main difference is just using fast uh, WordPress hosting. So something like Cloudways, Vulture, DigitalOcean, SiteGround, these all offer really quite powerful hosting. Those are the ones I'd recommend. If you've got slow hosting, you're going to get a slow website no matter what page builder you decide to go with. All right. So in summary, this was the top five. We had Rife, Hello, Astro, Cadence, and Divi. I put Rife in because it's a great combination with Elementor Free with Rife Free. You can get a really quite beautiful professional result using only free tools. So I like that one. Uh, Hello is for the Elementor Pro users among us. If you're using Elementor Pro, you probably already know about this. This is an awesome Thing if you want to just use Elementor exclusively, do all your design visually with Elementor, great way to do things, extremely fast in combination with Elementor as well. We've got Astra. I think for new users, Astra is still my recommendation. You can get an awesome result in quite a short amount of time. There's tons of tutorials, extremely popular, the most popular WordPress theme of all. And like I said before, you can find almost 50 free designs. There's probably one that already kind of matches your project already. So it cuts out a lot of work for beginners and you'll get a good result without too much effort. Cadence is just tremendous. I think that is probably the hottest new theme of 2020. I think for experienced WordPress users, a lot of us are switching our websites over to Cadence, building new websites in Cadence. It uses the standard WordPress editor, so the compatibility and speed. It does have a slight edge over any of these things. So I think a lot of us really prefer Cadence. Why give up performance when you don't have to and you can just use a standard WordPress editor? I think this is a quite a good option for those of us who are comfortable doing that. They obviously don't have as much demo content as Astra yet. Hopefully we see that content catch up to Astra during the new year and Cadence could possibly take over as the number one theme. It will take a long time. Astra has a million active installs, but uh, I think Cadence will catch up very quickly over the next year or two. And finally, we've got Divi. I still think Divi stands alone as the top pro theme. It doesn't have a free version, but the pro version is the best value you can get. Lifetime license, unlimited websites. That is just tremendous. Like I said, I know people who just use Divi as their exclusive theme for their agency. Um, if you're doing freelance design, that is just the perfect solution. So uh, Divi, I think it's a great, great, great option still. So that pretty much wraps it up. I will put the uh, links to the tutorials, Divi, Cadence and Astro. I'll put those videos right up there. If you're interested in the pro version of any of these, check out the links in the description but that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.